Please note that other complications may exist that aren't addressed in this guide. Shop Jimmy is not responsible for any harm that you may cause to yourself or damage to your TV during the repair process. In order to continue troubleshooting, be sure you have the proper training, experience, skills, and equipment necessary to use a multimeter to check voltages in a TV. The first thing that I can do is to check and see if there's a standby light in the front of the TV. Some TVs have the ability to show a standby light, while others do not. If I do see a standby light on the front of the TV, that shows that I do have some power going to the TV, but it will just not turn on. We will continue troubleshooting. I have removed the back cover off the TV and I will use my meter to check the standby voltage on the power supply. The first thing I will do is identify the power supply in the TV. Then look for a cable that runs from the power supply to the main board. We will use the test point that is labeled 5VSB. This is for 5 volt standby. Plug in your TV, but do not power it on. The standby voltage should be 5 volts if present. If 5 volts is present at this test point, it shows that the power supply and main board are working correctly. If the meter shows closer to 0 volts at this test point, it means that there is a problem with either the main board or the power supply. We will need to continue troubleshooting. Disconnect the cable and retest the point on the power supply board. Before disconnecting the cable, be sure to unplug your TV. After disconnecting the cable, plug the TV back in, but do not turn it on. Before you test the voltage, be sure the lead on the meter only touches one test point on the connection, like we have shown in the image. Test the same point again on the power supply with the cable disconnected. If you do have 5 volts at this test point, then it shows that the power supply is working correctly and there's most likely a problem with the main board. You should replace the main board if your first test showed 0 volts and you are now getting 5 volts with the cable disconnected. If you get 0 volts when retesting this point after disconnecting the cable to the main board, then you should replace the power supply board. Click this link in the video to watch our main board and power supply board replacement video.